What in the world is this? spread of Cap's darkness. Now, they are her puppets. It's like there's nothing behind their eyes anymore. Like their souls have been replaced by Cap's will. Cap's minions have won gold tonight, turning Lita into one of them. And from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita! I don't think I'm alone in saying this match feels like it's about a lot more than what's happening in the ring. It feels like the entire soul of the WWE could be at stake. Or at the very least, the souls of the Beacon. They haven't been the same since aligning with Cap. With all Lita's been through, she might just be the perfect adversary to stand up and take Cap out once and for all. Look at this, snap suplex. Oh, what a shoulder breaker. Impact and Lita's being broken down. Yeah, Lita has to wake up and fast. Implanted by the DDT. And a slap for the exclamation point. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Unloading. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Oh, gosh. Shoulder breaker. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. And she is rapidly dictating the pace. Yeah, she hasn't been giving her opponent any reprieve. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. Oh, look out. She did her homework there. into the ring. Oh, what a shoulder breaker. This match is wearing her down. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Face. And she goes for the pin. And she kicks out at it too. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey. What a shoulder breaker. Oh, shoulder breaker. That is gonna hurt. She just won't stay. <laughs> Fall off with an elbow. Finally, Lita's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Could be a good chance for her to get some distance. Oh, that might have just broken something. Boom. 
She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Launching. Oh, got caught. Oh, jeez. Falling hard to the outside. Incoming. Oh, my. Apron sent on. Uh-oh. Clearing off the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Just like that, Lita counters. And she is now laying her opponent on the announce desk. Bad intentions in mind. Oh, I don't like the desk's odds and holding up here. And guys, she's dangerously close to a countout loss. And responds with a counter of the... Standing precariously on the announce desk. This one just spiraled out of control. I know there was a reason I came here, but for the love of all that's holy, I can't remember what it is. It's like something was pulling me here, you know? Yes, I called you. I seen your demon. You recognize my amulet? My power? Aye, not something I'm anxious to toy with, if I'm being honest. You fear it? You should fear it too. I don't think you understand what you're dealing with. The power taps into a darkness inside of us all. You can't ignore it. You can only hope to control it. So you do understand it. With you as my servant, I will be even more powerful. No, I... You don't have a choice. When do we start? Now. Find me a soul. Together, we destroy her. Yes. That was impressive. How did you feel? Powerful. Ready to take on all of WWE. In time, controlling the dark side in a match like this is very different than trying to control it in front of a crowd facing another superstar. It feeds off that adrenaline. Good. I'm getting stronger. It's time. The fact that you can feel it is exactly why you need to be careful. After a few more matches... It is only those standing in my way who need to be careful. Understood. I'll set up a match and pray. Tonight, Candice LeRae is hoping the bright lights of Raw can limit Cap's darkness. That's going to be a tough challenge, especially considering Cap has Finn Balor in her room. I'm not sure what this alliance is all about, but considering Finn has some demons of his own, it can't be anything good. Just disrespectful. And Candace being out-wrestled there. Taking down the one knee. And then shining wizard. Gosh. Candace. 
Sheamus has got nothing left. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, AJ Lee. A look at the feet on the face of Candice LeRae. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. That's what I was afraid of. Me becoming even more powerful. You going too far? I saw it in your eyes. It took control of you. You need to learn how to harness it, not let it harness you. I will not deny my power. I will not hold back. I know what can happen if you stop being able to control it. If you won't slow down and listen, I can't help you anymore. This was a mistake. Your mistake is saying no. You say I can't harness it. You understand me. I can harness it. I can harness you. What? No. Cap. We can talk about this. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the Prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. It is time to bow to the prince or face his judgment. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Senor Money in the Bank, Damian Priest! <laughs> It's unclear what caused the issue between these two, but looking at Finn Balor's corner, it's easy to guess who. Finn was in Cap's corner for her last match. Maybe Cap's just returning the favor. I wouldn't describe his expression as one of gratitude, Saxton. Something nefarious is going on here. Oh. Oof. He switches it back around. He steps foot in the ring again. Overhead kick finds the mark. Hooked up. DDT! Wow. Balor's in that headspace, ready to put the finishing touches on. Ooh. And Priest looks a little less intimidated after taking some punishment there. Yeah, Balor putting his big match expertise to work there. Uh-oh. This is not going to be nice. This is going to be nasty. Editors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. And Priest is being controlled here. Climbing up to the top now. Ben Bauer, top progress. Damien doesn't know where he is. Looking for the victory. There's two. Ben Bauer certainly seemed to hit another gear out there tonight. He looked like a man possessed. In more ways than one. Whoa, I'm not sure I like the look of this. What's happening? been replaced by his alter ego. We don't need a referee. We need an exorcist. And unfortunately, he's already taken out the only priest in the building. 